one day I woke up and I was 25 years old with three kids by myself, a widow, and I needed to decide what else I'm doing in life, like how I move on. It was basically sort of a regular day. I woke up early, I brought the kids to kindergarten, I dropped them all off, and then I went to pray. And then I came home, I saw that Meirav wasn't home. Time was passing, nine o'clock, 10 o'clock, and I didn't know what was going on. So I called Meirav's mother, and she said, don't worry, she probably just went, uh, you know, she used to go a lot to hike. So then about like another couple of hours, Meirav's family started to get involved and her brother was looking for her and I was trying to figure out where she was. I went to where she was working and she wasn't there and, and they got the army involved and they were doing search teams and like, and I was at home with the kids. 10 o'clock at night, in walked the mayor of, I guess, the municipality. And, and they said, come sit down. And they said, um, we found, the, uh, the army found Mirav and, uh, and she died. What happened was that she went for a walk next to our house. We live on a nature reserve, and she fell from a high point. She hit her head, and that's when they told me that Mirav died. And I went into the kids' room, and I lied down with them for a while. It wasn't just a tough period, it was like a, a developing period where in the beginning it was just like a huge shock. I figured like, okay, I'm in this new situation and I gotta figure out what we're doing now and I gotta focus on the kids just so that they don't get super screwed up from this. I had a five-year-old, a three-year-old, and a one-year-old, and so that was five and a half years ago, so I, I pretty much raised them, and they came out awesome, three kids, and my kids are amazing. <laughs> Each one of them is amazing. This is the three of them. Prettiest daughter ever. Benjamin and Benayel. This is Benayel and Chanaidit, and my niece. Zohar Merav. She was named after my wife. When people ask me how I got through tragedy, in my mind, I just don't understand how life works, and that's fine for me. Because uh, I don't understand a lot of things, and there's something comforting in that where you're not in control of everything. Basically recognizing the fact that we're not in control is something that is strengthening. What's important is how we live life now and what you do with life. I'm raising three kids by myself. I'm finishing up my MBA. I work in high tech in Jerusalem and I'm a partner in a vineyard and a winery. I have an amazing life, I think, and I'm blessed and I thank God every day to be where I am and hopefully it'll get even better. The best therapy for me was driving to work every day, listening to music in the car. Yeah, I would sing along, yell along. No one ever said it would be this hard. It was better than any other therapy that I tried to go to other times. Take me back to the start.